Chris Marker. In 1952, Marker made his first film, Olympia 52, a 16mm feature documentary about the 1952 Helsinki Olympic Games. The film won the Golden Bear for Best Documentary at the 1961 Berlin Film Festival. In January 1961, Marker traveled to Cuba and shot the film Cuba SI. The film promotes and defends Fidel Castro and includes two interviews with him. The film has been compared to the cinema verite films of Jean Rauch, and criticized by its practitioners at the time. In 1967 Marker published his second volume of collected film essays, Commentaries II. That same year, Marker organized the omnibus film Loin du Vietnam, a protest against the Vietnam War with segments contributed by Marker, Jean-Luc Goddard, Elaine René, Agnes Varda, Claude Lelich, William Klein, Michelle Ray, and Joris Ivans. Marker is usually credited as director or CO director of all of the films made by SLO and dot after the events of May 1968, Marker felt a moral obligation to abandon his own personal film career and devote himself to SLO and its activities. The film chronicles events in Chile, beginning with the 1970 election of socialist president Salvador Allende until his murder and the resulting coup in 1973. Marker then began work on one of his most ambitious films, A Grin Without a Cat, released in 1977. Marker begins the film with the Odessa Steps sequence from Sergei Eisenstein's film The Battleship Potemkin, which Marker points out is a fictitious creation of Eisenstein which has still influenced the image of the historical event. Marker used very little commentary in this film, but the film's montage structure and preoccupation with memory make it a Marker film. The film focuses more on Kurosawa's remote but polite personality than on the making of the film, 24B36FCCF06C, 